Joining me now is Dr. Georges Benjamin. He's executive director of the American Public Health Association. Uh, Dr. Benjamin, thanks for being on the program with us. I'm just wondering if the U.S. Uh, basically saying it supports waiving patent protections for COVID-19 vaccines, if that support should have come a lot sooner. Why now? Well, because it's a complicated issue. And I know that, um, as you, if you heard from your, your previous um, um, showing here, that it will take some time. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that this is certainly one of the many steps that will be done to try to make sure that we have vaccines uh, all around the world. Um, but they need to work very hard on licensing, um, beefing up laboratories, and actually trying to produce more vaccines because raw materials remains a rate-limiting step uh, in the process. Um, WHO chief Dr. Tedros called Biden's decision a monumental moment in the fight against COVID-19. Do you believe this, in fact, this decision by the Biden administration is a game changer? Oh, I think it is because the United States is back and we're trying to provide some global leadership here. So hopefully the United States can be part of a coalition of nations around the world providing that leadership. And intellectual properties is one piece of it, but it's also going to require money. It's going to require acquiring the raw materials. And we really got to make sure that we provide these systems around the world to make sure everybody gets vaccinated. So what, what does this mean for countries that are in dire situation right now? Countries like India, Brazil, what does this mean for them? Well, it means that, that um, hopefully hope, um, but they're going to have to work with us to make sure that that happens. Um, India is in a terrible strait. They cannot wait the month for negotiations to begin. So we need to make sure they get the vaccines that they need right now. And how will, what, what, I mean, in terms of other countries following suit, uh, will that also uh, make a big difference here? Oh, it will make a big difference. If we can get, um, you know, France and Germany and England all on board, um, many of those countries have already verbalized support uh, for these uh, reductions of trade, um, you know, barriers. But again, trade barriers is only one small part of the solution. The solution is... Uh, supply lines. The solution is having enough vaccinators. And in the case of India and Brazil right now, providing them the medical support that they need to treat the patients that they have right now. So, Dr. Benjamin, what is the next step here? How does this work exactly? So, the U.S. is on board. France says it's on board. What is next? Discussions at World Trade Organization. How much is that going to take? As you mentioned, India cannot wait another month. No, they can't afford to wait. Um, and what they, but they, what they can do, there's no reason why these companies cannot begin um, getting into discussions around licensing agreements and working with these um, nations to help improve their labs, uh, improve their factories, given the training that they need for their technicians to actually begin making the vaccine. So they can do a lot of the stuff that we did in the United States around operation, operation Warp Speed and get the bureaucracy out of the way under the assumption that we're actually going to help these nations produce more vaccine. I don't know if you've heard, but a lot of people are not happy about the U.S. decision. Pharmaceutical companies are not happy about it. The French foreign minister came out against it, and plenty of critics who say this discourages innovation, sets a terrible precedent, and the number one problem is increasing production, not waiving intellectual property. Well, I would agree that producing production is the most important thing that we need to do right now. Um, but people are dying. And by the way, none of us is safe until everybody gets vaccinated. If we continue to allow these mutations to occur around the world, then we're going to have a real challenge. This disease is not going away anytime soon. And so we have a long tail to try to address this from a public health perspective. Let's get it done now. All right. We'll leave it there. Dr. George's Benjamin, thank you.